guys, I'm Alex. I'm Jason, we're the Table Monkeys, and today we are going to be talking about delivering a hit. So we got an interesting question. Uh, somebody asked, said they're a newer puller and their team has been telling him that he, that he needs to work on his hit. And he was like, how do I do that? Is it just about being explosive? Like, what do I do to get better at delivering a hit? Yeah, well, being explosive is great for hitting, obviously. Uh, if you can hit fast, then your opponent's going to be in a, in a tougher position. Yeah. But the first thing you got to do is you got to be very comfortable with your position off the go before you can worry about being explosive. Yeah, you got to know how to deliver the hit before being explosive becomes a factor. It's kind of like swinging a golf club or swinging a baseball bat or something like that, where you know you, you got to work on your technique and get it down before you're really going to be able to apply full force to that swing, right? Yeah. So we have a couple hits that we now feel comfortable uh, executing on the table. So we're just going to demonstrate and talk about how we develop them. Develop them. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So the first thing that you got to understand is where you want to go. Like you'll hear Travis Bajan talk about having a winning lane and having a losing lane, right? So delivering a hit, we're not going to worry about the losing lane right now. We're just mm -hmm. going to talk about that winning lane. So. You, you want to know the, the direction you want to go. So a lot of newer pullers, they really don't even know how they want to pull yet, you know? Are you a hook and drag? Are you a high posting top roll? Do you want to come in for a press? Do you want to do a low hand top roll? Are you a sweep? There's so many different, are you going to king's move? There's so many different ways to hit, right? right? Um, and then even that, like just a, a high hooking, like high posting top roll, there's so many different variations just in there. Each team might pull the same kind of high hook hit a little bit differently, right? So the first thing you want to figure out is how to pull. So where, what, what moves are you going to use? And then once you have the move, the one move that you want to do, then you need to work on your setup. Yeah. And the first thing that everyone should uh, probably take into account is that from the setup, the, the first thing that's going to happen is, is usually the cup. Yeah, right. The cup should be the start of almost every move. Whether you're going inside or whether you're going outside, it's the cup that usually starts every move. Right? Yeah. So at first, if you're working on your hit or you're working on becoming explosive in practice and stuff, just try to bend your wrist as quickly as you can first thing, right? right. That's the first thing you can work on. And from there, you're going to figure out where, where you like to pull. Do you like to cup in and then drag back? Do you like to cup in and come forward? And just on, on just the next thing will be your shoulder. Mm -hmm. If your shoulder likes to come forward or likes to go back, start to establish your hit based on that. Yeah, right? exactly. <clears throat> so the last thing uh, that we think about that's important with a hit or developing your hitting game is if you can establish two directions that you wanna go or that you can go, like two winning lanes that come from a very similar or the same setup, that is like an ideal situation. So I've heard uh, Todd Hutchins talk about Jerry Cataret's press, how if you go to fight him high, he's gonna flop under. And if you go to try to hook him, he's gonna roll over and, and, and attack like high. And he, uh, Todd Hutchins says he, he thinks that Jerry literally makes that decision like as the go starts to happen. So based on where you go, if you go high, he flops under. And if you try to go low, he's gonna try to press over, you know? so. That is like the ideal situation. That's what we're talking exactly. about. Exactly. Right? So because your opponent can can know who you are and how you're going to pull. So having two lanes that you can pick from will just make it a little bit harder for your opponent to, to know where you're going and give you a better chance of winning. Yeah, it kind of becomes like a really quick rock, paper, scissor. You know? yeah. It's like, you know, it's going to be this or that. And, and it's a 50 50 chance. And if you can get your opponent to think a when you're going to deliver B, it's uh, it's almost like a win yeah. right off the bat. So the hit starts from a solid setup. Right. So which one do we want to do? Let's let your hits are a press on your right. Yeah, and the low hand top roll on my left. Yeah. Yeah. So let's since we're set up right handed, why don't you do your uh, yeah. show how you set up for your press? So it starts. It all most setups start with the feet. You got to get your feet in the right place. So for me, that's with my right foot wrapped around the the leg here. A lot of, a lot of presses will put their foot on the on the on the pole, but I don't feel comfortable doing that just yet. So I'm wrapping. And then I'm getting nice and tall, and I've got my elbow as high as, or right at the front of the pad, and my hand as high as I can with my rise fully engaged. And then I'm, I'm putting my shoulder as far behind my hand as I can, matching it with my left shoulder, so I don't get called on uh, any Jerry, Jerry Cataret shoulder fouls. And note his, his other foot, you can't see it on camera, but his, his outside foot is pointing this way, yeah. so his body is going this way, and then he's gonna torque it into the table to keep it square. Yeah, so off the go, it's, it, start, it all starts with the hand. I'm trying to turn my opponent in and down 
with supination and chop as well as cup, bring my shoulder in close to my hand and drive this way towards the pad. So again, the first thing is establishing cup and because he's going inside, he's gonna establish cup with supination and then he's gonna make sure to drive towards his opponent and across the table. Just again, just attacking that winning lane and trying to keep his shoulder behind his hand. <clears throat> right? Yep. And uh, for me, on my right, um, I have, basically I do it the same, my right and left. Uh, my right has got a bit of a injury now, so I don't, I don't rely on my king's move exactly the same way as I used to, but it's basically the same idea. I have an offensive kind of high hook uh, top roll that I have that I do and that from that position as well I can hit outside and basically hit to a defensive move so if in the setup I feel like I'm not going to get the hit off or I don't have the exact grip I want to get the height to get that high posting uh, high hook that I want I'm gonna probably kick out on the go as opposed to coming towards my opponent and I'll make that decision kind of last minute mm -hmm. but Coming into the setup, everything for the setup is similar to his uh, his press. I'm gonna wrap my foot and get my body facing this way. I'm gonna turn myself in. And again, I go to the same part of the pad and get my riser up high. And then the hit that I'm trying to think is I'm just trying to hit up as much as I can and to the side. And as soon as I get some movement this way, then I'm rolling out and falling back. So it's side and back pressure combined. And if I get stuck, especially if I'm in a strap, if I get stuck somewhere here, it kind of leads me to my king's move really nicely. Mm -hmm. So again, the, the, the hit, the initial hit that I'm going for leads to my second hit. And if for some reason in the setup, I don't feel like I got my second hit, a little bit of foot change and I can switch to my king's move right off the go if I need to. Yeah. That's the beauty of having multiple angles you can pull in, defensive and offensive. So in case you get caught by someone who's a little stronger than you, you can switch to a more defensive posture. Yeah, and, and hopefully outlast them. And styles make matches, so it could even be that they just know like their style is is the perfect counter for your first move, but it might not be the right counter for your second move. You know, yeah. so that's that's the goal. Yeah. All right guys, so to summarize, the first thing you have to do is you establish where you're gonna go. So that's your winning lane, the route, your route to victory. And from there, learn your setup from your foot to your hand and practice that so you have it dialed in. Everything is the exact same every time you pull. And then learn a secondary hit from that exact same setup so you're a little more versatile and harder to deal with. So yeah, once you figure those three things out, then just practice, practice, practice. And uh, yeah, that's the video. Hope yeah. you liked the video. If you do, uh, leave some comment in the feedback in the sections like, there. Share, subscribe, subscribe, all those things. Monkeys out. Peace. Peace.